Meghan, we have met before, I'm Dr. Ambika, and uh, you had come to see me with the infected toenail, and I said after the infection settles down, I'll see you with a view to planning your surgery. Um, have you thought about what I told you at that time, what surgery you would need? Uh, I, I, well, my mind is just to get the rid of infection, so I had my antibiotics and everything I've done. Okay. Already. The plan is that you have got an ingrowing toenail and this is a little diagram I'm drawing to say that you would need the toenail bed excision all the way to the bottom so that we can remove the root of the nail so that it doesn't grow back again. Right, so it will look ugly and it will hurt? Oh, it, will, mm, it, will, it does hurt. It will be wrong of me to say it will not hurt. It will hurt but we will give you a ring block on the day of the surgery. To, during the surgical procedures, you should have minimal or no pain. You will have only push or pull, will feel, but not pain. Yeah. And after surgery, we will give a long-acting you know, painkiller. So that will actually take care of the immediate post of pain. And then you will be on regular painkillers. It is likely that we might have to put a couple of stitches to hold the skin together. The nail will look a little different, but at least you will not have the same continuous problem of repeated infection. And how much uh, will it to grow back the my nail? The, the rest of the nail will go will grow normally. So you might have a little nail which is become smaller in width, but it's not going to be cosmetically very different. But you should not have the repeated infections. The fact that I'm going to take the root of the nail will actually prevent that bit of the nail growing back and digging into the skin. All right, now I understand. Is that okay? And uh, how, how much time will it take to heal actually? Usually the stitches uh, that we leave, we leave it for at least two weeks for the stitches, the wound to heal. Uh, you will not be able to wear a closed shoe for a while, at least for a period of four to six weeks. Uh, but you will be able to walk within a week or so and you will have to keep it dry and maybe wear open uh, sandals or something. You could wear a sock but wear an open sandal so that it doesn't hurt the toe. Because the swelling also will be there and it takes a while to... So I will develop. be up and moving in our week. Yes, you will be. You will be up and moving actually same day. Oh, yeah, you will be moving same day. But obviously when you are resting and when you are sleeping, you need to keep your foot elevated so there is no s swelling. Okay? So the actual procedure will be called wedge excision of the toenail, of the right big toe. Okay? And here is what I have written down the procedure. And the procedure itself will be done under local anesthetic. You don't need a general anesthetic for that. Okay. Obviously, you can't drive the same day, so you need to bring somebody or take public transport. Okay. okay. And uh, like I said to you, it will be done under local anesthetic. And so you're not allergic to any medication. If I remember you telling me before, and you have had local anesthetic without any yeah. problem. Okay. Now, uh, the procedure itself benefit is you're removing the nail so that nail doesn't grow back and you don't have that problem. But there are often side effects. Okay? In other words, there are some risks to the procedure. There is no procedure without any risk. Okay? And the risk will be wound infection. Okay? Occasionally, the scarring might take place and therefore, like I said to you, it won't be cosmetically that deformative, but the nail definitely will be smaller. Okay? And obviously, you cannot keep the toe wet or you cannot wear closed shoes. That may sometimes be, you know, may some people may not want to do that for a while. But since it is summer, it, it will be quite yeah, easy for you to do. Okay. Do you have any questions? Uh, I think uh, I've understood what is going to happen. I'm ready. Yeah. The other thing you need to know is I'll give you a copy of the consent that you can take. And you can have a look at it. And then on the day of the operation, you, you know, if you have any questions or change, you can. The other thing is, you know, how NHS works. Even though I'm taking consent, it doesn't mean I will do the procedure for you. You know, even if my trainees do, my trainees are competent and they have no to do. But, you know, if I don't think they're competent enough, I will be there and yeah. I might take them through That's the operation. I, prefer. Uh, I don't promise any of my patients that I will do the procedure right. because it's a teaching hospital, so I have to respect that. But you will be taken care of by somebody who knows that job. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I would like you to sign here and then I'll give you a copy of the consent form, the duplicate copy. Okay. okay? Do you have any other questions that you want to ask me? Not at the moment. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. We'll see you in a couple of weeks on the day surgery. And when you go to day surgery, they'll give you all the uh, information that you need, what you need to come, who you need to bring with, and then we'll see you in two weeks. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you so much.